So it's a couple months into the new year and I've been testing out the planner system that I originally shared with you guys in my 2023 journal lineup video and a bunch of things through trial and error have changed. So I wanted to do a little quick update just on some of the kind of purposes of the journals that have changed, why these things have changed and what I'm using now so that I can give you guys an up-to-date look at the journals I'm actually using because I have switched around a bunch of things and I've actually added another journal into the mix, which means that I am now using a total of six journals for 2023. So let's just jump into it and I'm gonna walk you through all the changes I made. And as I mentioned before, this kind of came from trial and error. So yeah, sometimes I just find as you use your journal system, in your different journals, you find out that certain things work better in certain books. And part of why I like to have blank notebooks as the different journals that I use is because I can very easily switch up the purpose or the function of my system without having to go ahead and totally change out something for something else. And I can just repurpose the book, just change up the function a bit, and then I'm still kind of using what I originally thought I would. I'm just using it for a different reason. So let's just get into it. The first thing I wanna go over briefly is the two notebooks that did not change. So I'm not gonna talk about them too much because they are exactly the same as my original video. These are my sketchbook, which is an MD paper notebook in blank. I've been doing some hand lettering in, in here, which has been really fun. And I've been really liking this. This is my sketchbook for all of my lettering practice. And I think since I showed it to you, I put it in a clear cover just to help it not get dirty because these covers are white. So it's a little hard to keep them pristine, which is why I put a cover on it. And then the other notebook that I'm not gonna bring out that has changed is my work bullet journal. So I will do a separate video doing maybe like a monthly setup with that, just so you guys can see how I like to use it. But yeah, that guy hasn't changed at all for the most part. It was my journals that had the most changes made to them. So let's jump into that. Okay, so first off, let's talk about my personal bullet journal. So last year I separated my bullet journal into two separate notebooks, one for work, one for personal. As I mentioned, the work bullet journal isn't changing. The personal bullet journal didn't really change. The only thing I switched up is I stopped putting in the Sora calendar printouts. So I'm going to be moving these to my life log or memory keeping journal so that all of the kind of memory elements are all together. So I have stopped doing this in here and it doesn't really impact the function of the system at all, but I just thought that people would be maybe interested to see how I'm using my journal now. The other thing I've been doing is I've been decorating my journal with this Peon Berg PET tape. I got this tape in the mail when I bought my Sora calendar and I really, really like it. It's really pretty and I really like birds. So I've just been using this to decorate my monthly log. And then what I've also been doing is I've been using bird stamps. This one is by Yohaku. I got it from Paper Plus Cloth and I use this to mark when I need to start taking my meds again. So that's been really cool. And yeah, I just wanted to show you guys this cause I'm really liking the bird theme <laughs> we have going on right now. I think it's really fun. And something I noticed when I stopped pasting in the Sora calendar inserts was that I started writing more in my journal. I think I was subconsciously not writing as much because I knew some days I had to paste in the moon phase. And I just feel like now I'm a lot more free with my journal and I'm actually listing out everything I need to do, which is great. And yeah, I've even been like sticking washi tape in here and 
yeah, just kind of being a little more loose with my bullet journal, which I've really been enjoying. So the function didn't really change, but yeah, I've just kind of changed how I've been, I guess, decorating my bullet journal, which I'm sure most people wouldn't really care to see, but I know that my fellow journal peeps probably are actually interested in this like I am. So I wanted to show that first before I jump into the main big changes. Okay, next change is to my passport traveler's notebook. So in my original journal lineup video, I said I was gonna use this for memory keeping. And I just found when I started writing in it, I wanted to write more per day and the passport felt a bit small. However, what I tried doing once I realized that and found that I actually preferred doing this instead was I actually have been using this now as my kind of daily journal that I write in in the morning. And if you watched my morning routine video, I showed you guys how I fill this out every day along with my other journals. So why I really like this for daily journaling is because part of why I guess why I didn't like it for memory keeping, the page is really small. So I can very easily download my thoughts and fill up a page without it taking more than I would say five minutes, which is perfect for me because on some days when I wanna daily journal and keep up the practice, but I don't have a lot of things to write down, I can still kind of meet my one page goal of filling it up. But then on days when I do have a lot to write and I need to just kind of flesh something out and process it, I can take more pages to write my thoughts down and really kind of get into what I'm feeling and what I'm thinking. So I keep this really simple. I use my fountain pens in this just to write down one page a day. So one single side of a page and then I'm just gonna keep doing this until I fill up the notebook and then I'll just switch it out, which is really easy. I'm using a lightweight insert by Traveler's Company to do this. I really like the lightweight paper, but to be honest, the main reason why I'm using this insert is because you get 80 pages instead of 60 pages, which is how many you normally get in the other paper types of this insert. So. I wanted to do 80 so that I would be able to have this for a couple more days and I wouldn't need to buy as many inserts. So <laughs> that is my rationale for buying this insert type. And yeah, no longer a memory keeping journal, now a daily journal, which has been working out very well. I've been really liking it. So because I was no longer memory keeping in my passport traveler's notebook, I moved that and actually started a new notebook to do my memory keeping or what I like to call life logging. So fun fact, I actually had this Stalogy notebook in storage. I, <laughs> I had it as a backup for my bullet journal for when I needed to start a new one, probably six months into the year, but I decided to take it out and put it in my natural superior labor cover and use this instead as my life log or memory keeper. So I just found that the passport didn't have a lot of space and I really like kind of the amount of room that you get in the A6, which is why I wanted to try memory keeping in here. So I've just been using these tabs by Traveler's Notebook to hopefully help organize it a little bit so I can flip between months really easily. And all I'm doing in this notebook is writing down a brief kind of longhand entry of how I found the day was and the highlights of my day. I have also moved my Sora calendar inserts into here. So I don't cut them out anymore just because I wanted to make it as simple as possible. So I literally just kind of rip it a little bit so it can fit on the page, glue it in, and then I glue in the QR code on the page where the day this happened is. So this happened on the 4th of January. So it's on the page with the 4th of January's entry. It's really simple because I want to make sure I'm writing in this every day. So I want to make it as low effort as possible, especially because I do use multiple journals daily. So it's 
very chill. I'm thinking of doing a different ink per month and I'm thinking of making them all brown inks. Maybe one month I'll do like a fun green ink, but I really like brown ink. So I thought it'd be fun to do different variations of brown every month and switch it up that way. And eventually I will also put photos in here, which will be really nice. But yeah, this is how I'm memory keeping now. I hope it doesn't get too chunky. That was a problem I had with my previous Stalogy that I used for memory keeping, but I'm gonna try using a different photo printer this time and I'm hoping that will help out with the chunkiness, but so far I'm really, really enjoying this. Okay, so I have gone through all of the journals that have changed. This is the final one that has had the biggest adjustment. So this journal, if you remember from the planner lineup video I did, was originally my morning daily journal, which has now been kind of delegated in function to my passport bullet journal. So because I'm no longer using this for writing out daily journal entries, instead what I'm gonna be using this notebook for is as kind of a ink journal so I'm gonna be using this to catalog all the fountain pen inks I have, as well as have a spot for me to be able to write down and swatch the inks that I currently have in my fountain pens. So I guess end of 2022 was when I got into fountain pens. So these are all the pens that I own right now. I have five and I actually just got this one, but <laughs> I think it'd be really cool now that I have more pens as well to be able to just have a spot to keep track of what ink I have in each pen because when I had two, it was pretty easy. It was, is it the brown one or the green one? But now there's five, so it's a little harder for me to remember and I think it'd be cool to have it recorded so I could see you know, whenever I ink up my pens, what are the different inks that I'm using? What am I gravitating towards and enjoying more? And then also what I'm thinking I'm gonna do is I, so I'm gonna switch this out for a blank insert and I think I'll make a video showing how I set up this journal because I haven't gotten around to it yet. But I am gonna be using this card insert from the Traveler's Company. This is something that they, I think it's called like the business card insert, but I thought what I would do is I would swatch my inks on smaller pieces of paper and then I would organize them in here. And what I like about this is I can get a view of my entire collection, all the inks I have, and I can move them around so that I can keep them in order. So I can put all my brown inks in one spot and I can have all of my green inks together and I can organize them by color more easily. This insert comes with, I think 60 of these different slots. So I think it'll be quite a while before I have 60 fountain pen inks to <laughs> swatch hopefully. But yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I'm gonna have one insert for currently inked and then the other will hold all of my swatches and I think this will be such a fun journal to look through once I've set it up and I have all the inks kind of swatched out and I can look through them. So I'm really excited to set up this journal and I think it'll be really helpful, especially when I'm buying new inks, I can reference the inks I already own and make sure I'm not buying, you know, the same ink that I already have just with a very slight variation because I could see myself doing that with brown inks. <laughs> So yeah, that is all of the changes that I made to my analog system for 2023. So I guess to recap, I have my work bullet journal, I have my personal bullet journal, I have a sketchbook, I have my daily journal where I write down my thoughts in the morning, I have my life log or memory keeper where I record my memories and put in photos and other tickets and stuff. And then I now have a ink journal for fountain pen stuff and ink swatches. So yeah, you know what? I wasn't expecting to change up my journal lineup this suddenly, but I do really like the direction it's going. And 
I am really excited to see how these notebooks evolve and see if they change. Who knows? The year is just starting, so there's lots of possibilities. Let me know if you've changed anything in your planner lineup as of yet. Am I the only one who's on day 12 and already changing it up? Uh, <laughs> and I would love to know also what journals you're using. And if you do use fountain pens, let me know how you like to swatch your ink because I would love to know because I'm very new to the fountain pen world. So that is all from me for this video. I hope you enjoyed seeing the update to the journals that I am using this year. Thank you so much to my patrons for supporting me and I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye everybody. Thank you.